Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to episode number 8 of the Barcelona career mode series. In today's episode, we have some decent La Liga games against Deportivo La Coruña, Real Betis and even Sporting Gijon. We'll also be playing a Champions League game against Bayer Leverkusen. Hope you guys are enjoying this series and if you guys are, drop a like on this video, that would be just awesome. And also subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Let's now just focus on today's episode. So as you can see guys, we are league leaders here comfortably by 7 points over Sevilla, but Real Madrid are kind of catching up there now in sixth place but i mean the amount of difference we have in terms of points is just ridiculous here also in the last episode i did ask you guys whether we should offer david via a contract extension and most of you guys did want me to give him one i mean 67 or 68 percent of you guys did want me to offer him a new contract so we'll be doing that it's not like he's having a bad season he's actually been pretty good and he's our second top scorer after leo messi that's actually pretty good when you have players like neymar and luis suarez in the team so he's not been bad he's been pretty decent so i think he deserves a new contract the same with Sergio Sampa, I've not used him too much, but he's been pretty good whenever he has played, so I'm offering him a new contract so that he stays for the club as long as he can, and obviously he's a good young talent to have, potentially the, you know, replacement for Busquets once he turns old or something like that. Also guys, in the next episode, we'll be having the transfer window, I'm really pumped for it, we have to replace Dani Alves, that isn't going to be easy, he's one of the best right backs in this game, so we got to replace him with someone quality, and obviously as you can see, these are the players you guys suggested, you know, Bruno Perez, Serge Aurier, Fabinho, Oscar De Marco as well let me know in the comment section which of these right backs you want me to bring in and apart from that let me know if you have any other choices for a right back I'm thinking of, you know, maybe Danny Carvajal could be a good shot, but the thing is, he plays for Real Madrid. Will it be a realistic tra transfer? Maybe not, but will it be a good transfer? Probably yes. So let me know if you should bring maybe him or maybe even someone else. Just let me know down any transfer suggestions you guys have in the comment section below. Not only a right back position, maybe some other position as well. I'm not sure we'll be able to do it or not, but maybe a swap deal with any of the players we have currently. That could be a good, you know, shout. But anyways, let's now focus on our Deportivo game here. We are playing them at home. We should be winning this one. We do have the first chance here. Neymar with the skills. Neymar with the shot. The keeper makes a very good save. Neymar hasn't been in his best of forms. Hopefully, he'll be able to pick up some form in today's episode. Here's Pogba who takes the shot, a long shot from Paul Pogba, it hits the post, ball falls to Leo Messi, and Messi who's been in fantastic form, decides to cut inside, and that's Leo Messi at his best, a brilliant finish there from Leo Messi, and after 32 minutes, we make it 1-0, brilliant goal from Messi, another chance here for us is Sergio Busquets with the ball, Busquets into Iniesta, brilliant link up play between Iniesta and Dani Alves, but Iniesta's shot goes wide, we probably should have scored that, that was a great chance for us to get, you know, the second goal of this game, another chance here maybe for us in the 60th minute of this game, it's Neymar here with the ball he decides to cut inside takes a long shot the ball hits the post or the crossbar as such but really great chance there for us to score unfortunately we couldn't here's Leo Messi with the ball it's still Messi he decides to put the ball into Iniesta Iniesta with the dive again how often can you say that but it went wide I think the keeper didn't make the save there but here's Neymar in the 90th minute he's been playing really well in this game does deserve a goal he gets it a brilliant finish there from Neymar a really good solo goal actually from him cutting in from the left hand side there and just going towards goal and the defenders had no chance because the pace he's got it's just ridiculous, one of the best plays in the world, definitely a great finish there from Neymar. And obviously after that game we finish it 2-0, decent game there against Deportivo. And La Liga is just seeming really easy for us right now, but the Champions League is another case. Obviously we did lose to Arsenal twice in the Champions League so far, which isn't good. And obviously being you know one of the best teams in the world, we can't be losing to teams like Arsenal. I mean, no disrespect to Arsenal, they are a great English side, but... Obviously, they aren't on the level of Barcelona. I'm pretty sure all of you guys will agree with me on that occasion. But as you can see, David Villa and obviously Sergi Sampa do accept their new contract, which is pretty awesome. I'm actually going to be simming this game here against Leverkusen because there's no way we are not going to progress into the next round of the Champions League. And pretty much, obviously, we can't even get into first place because Arsenal have a four-point lead over us. We sim this game. David Villa and Turan get the goals for us. We beat Leverkusen, which is really good to see. Now we have a budget of like 12 million and 50,000 euros per week. I mean, it's not a lot of money, but this season i mean this transfer window will be only making some swap deals but i'll still be asking some money from the board so if they do give us some money we'll probably use it in the january transfer window to bring in a quality player i'm not sure so that's why i need you guys to leave me suggestions so let me know which place you want me to bring in even apart from a right back in the comment section below now guys it's time to face sporting gijon who are in the relegation zone this could be a really interesting game because they have obviously halen alilovic who is a fantastic player in this game but this game just started off so well for us a perfect goal there from barcelona brilliantly play and obviously Andres Iniesta scores the goal. I think I've really found a way to play with this side really well. I mean all the tiki tanka and all. I've been playing some beautiful football but that 
that was just ridiculous. What was Jordi Massive even doing? I mean, he did us a favor there. Obviously, former Barcelona player, so you could argue that he was bought, but that's just ridiculous there. What a mistake that was from Jordi Massive. That was just ridiculous. I was just talking about, you know, beautiful football, and then just happened. A stupid glitch or something like that from, you know, Jordi Massive. Here's Alan Halilovic here. I'm really eager to see how he performs in this game, because next season he'll probably be with us there. A great chance there from him to score, but obviously it hit the post. Another chance here maybe for us to get the second or third goal, actually, from this game. Here's Leo Messi. Yeah, Messi decides to get inside. He just scores in every single game. That is Lionel Messi for you. And after 34 minutes, we have made it 3-0. I'll probably consider it only 2-0, because that Jordi Massive goal was just ridiculously stupid. Here's Suarez, a chance to make it 4-0, and Luis Suarez does so. Before halftime, 4-0. That is really a ridiculous scoreline there. I mean, we're destroying the lesser La Liga side. There you go. We have beaten them 4-0. In the Champions League is where we are struggling against teams like Arsenal. Hopefully, we'll be able to improve upon our Champions League campaign. I'm not going to be telling you guys the team you're facing. It's obviously a very big team. If you guys could, you know, leave some guesses or something like that, that'd be pretty good. But anyways, now it's time to face the Real Betis here. They're in the top half of the table, so this could well be a tricky game. Again, I'm choosing a strong lineup because we do have a lot of gap between games right now. Obviously, Spain doesn't have a winter break as such, which is freaking awesome. So, stamina issues aren't there yet in the month of December. A chance here for us to maybe make it 1-0 in this game. Here's Neymar. He's already had two opportunities yet. This time, Atan does make the save. Great save there from him, but Neymar has been really turning on things in today's episode. Apart from that here, I've obviously started David Villa in this game. Let's see how he performs. He was really bad actually in this game, so I decided to sub him off at halftime for Luis Suarez. Obviously, Betis did have a good chance there to score, but obviously they didn't. A chance here for maybe us to get a goal in this game. Here's Leo Messi to Rakitic. Rakitic smashes the ball, but Adan there, he's been on really good form in this game. Does manage to make a good save, and after 53 minutes, the score remains nil-nil. A chance here maybe for us is Gaia with the ball. Gaia decides to put the ball in. Suarez with the overhead kick. He misses. Messi with the wally. Messi with the shots. I mean, it hits the post. How unlucky could Messi get? And after like 89 minutes, in fact, the end of the game, it was nil-nil. A disappointing result nonetheless, considering our form being so good in La Liga. But we still retain our top spot in La Liga. And apart from that, look at the point difference between us and Athletic Bilbao. They are like 9 points behind us, which is absolutely ridiculous there. Valencia are like 10 points behind us. I mean, Real Madrid now are 11 points behind us that means they have done a bit of catching up there but i don't think they'll be able to catch up to us but that's pretty much it for today's episode before we end it and all that we'll have a you know squad report as you can see danny alvarez has decided to leave the club that means we will be selling him probably a swap deal and the board want me to you know sell him so they might actually sell him on their own so that's risky so we gotta get him out of the club as soon as possible so let me know which right back you guys want me to bring in in the comment section below we have a decent amount of money plus danny alvarez is valued at pretty high so we'll probably get a good right back in the January transfer window. We'll also be facing Athletic Bilbao in the next episode in the Copa del Rey. That'll be an interesting game. Now, guys, it's time for a squad report to look how our pro players are actually progressing. Here's Bravo. He's now 84 rated, the same as Marc Andre de Stegen, which is pretty good to see. Alves has gone up by 185. Hector Bellerin gone up by 2. He is 79. Montoya doesn't really matter. He's out on loan. PK is now 86, which is pretty awesome. Laporte is still the same. That is very weird here. Mascherano, I didn't expect him to go up. He's now 80. Five, that's ridiculous. Martha is still 80. Alba has gone up as well. Gaia as well. Busquets has gone up to an 87. Sampa, he is now 74. That is ridiculous. Song doesn't really matter. Turan has gone up by two. He's 85 rated. Look at those stats. Pretty decent there. Alex Vidal gone up by one. He's now 80. Paul Pogba gone up by two. He's 88. Definitely one of the best signings I've made in, you know, this series so far. Andres Iniesta, 89. That is ridiculous as well. He's 31. Taking into the account, he's 31. That is ridiculous. Rafinha gone up by one as well. Rakitic still the same, but he's 85. That, is in, that in itself is really good. Roberto gone up by two. He is now 80. He's been pretty decent for me in that CDM role. Halilovic being out on loan. It still really matters because next season he will be at the club. He's now 75. Leo Messi is 95. The best player, the highest rated player in this game. Look at that. I mean, 19 games played. 13 goals and 2 assists. Munir has gone up by 3. I mean, he could be a part of the squad next season if he grows really well. Suarez is still 90. David Villa gone down by 1. The only player to actually go down. And that's what I was worried about, you know, giving him a new contract. But next season, we'll probably just bring Dybala in or someone like that. So it really shouldn't matter, you know, giving David Villa a contract. He's a legend, so we deserve to give him some recognition. Surprisingly, Neymar didn't grow. That was a very big surprise for me. But that's pretty much it, guys, for today's episode. Do leave me transfer suggestions in the comment section or on Twitter. But apart from that, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you guys have, drop a like on this video. Follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the channel. And also subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I'll see you guys soon in another episode of this series.